Okay, this is Temple OS, 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode 64, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. And it looks like we are in the uh, header file, the main header file, and we're looking at member list. Um, what this is, is for uh, the compiler. Um, you might be asking... Uh, um, well, let's go to the compiler, statement parser, and uh, that's kind of weird. Number list new. Uh, one, two, three, four. I made a function just for that. Anyway, um, so when you, uh, when you declare a, uh, a class, then it, uh, um, when you declare a class, then it adds all the members to it. Um, anyway, uh, let's go over the fields that are in here. This is a, uh, this is a linked list. Um, the next field uh, tells uh, it's off of a, cla a class uh, it's off a of source sim no it's off a of class yeah okay a class uh, has a member list what is the second member list I don't know maybe that's uh, um function arguments and uh, and uh, uh, local variables anyway a function is a uh, a function is a class um, that's and a class is a source sim and a class has a member list so it has a tree for a uh, fast um, left right it has a, a binary tree what is number two? I don't remember. I think that's for member list to. There's two ways to access it. It's kind of ridiculous that you would have. You don't have that many local variables, so I, it was kind of silly when I added trees. But I went ahead and did it in case somebody made a really big uh, local variable list or a. Um, if you made a class that had so many members that a linear search was a problem. Anyway, uh, so a member has a class. And um, I made something called metadata. Um, what that is, is uh, uh, when you declare a class, you can, uh, well, let, let's give an example. When you declare a class, um, you can, uh, and you have a member variable, let's say age, then you can enter met metadata. Um, like if I say, let, okay, so now if I say uh, my meta uh, one, two, Anyway, so you can put any any label you want right in here, and uh, uh, we have a demonstration somewhere here. Class meta. So, um, if you have a, uh, when you de declare a class, you can make a print string, then you give it a value, default value, and then in your, uh, in your application, you can, uh, you can access the, uh, the hash table to find the class, and then, um, you can access metadata. 
So this dumps a structure. Um, so let's say you wanted a format string string for all your uh, member variables, then um, you can make a routine that uh, accepts a class name. It's oh well. Oh, use count. Okay, well, that's pretty obvious. Um, every time a class gets used, its use count goes up. That's so that that's so you can tell if you have an unused local variable. Um, and uh, flags. Okay, well, uh, register. Um, if it's a register variable, you can tell it. Uh, you can tell it which uh, register to use. Uh, the, this is the offset off of the uh, base pointer. All local variables and arguments have a, a uh, reserve spot for off the base pointer. Even the ones with uh, that are um, register variables, they have an unused uh, spot on the stack. Um, if this local variable or class member um, is an array, then um, this is a point, this is a, uh, an array dimension, an array dimension, um, you can have multiple dimensional arrays, anyway, uh, static data, okay, this is, uh, if it's a static local variable, um, did I mention that, uh, functions are, are treated as classes, um, so like uh, if you have a function then um, do you see how this resembles a class uh, when you de when you declare a, uh, a class do you see how it's similar to declaring a function um, so th this is just like saying it, this is almost exactly So a function is uh, almost exactly the same as declaring a class. And then when you go into local variables, it continues. Uh, so it's just like declaring a class. So my parser um, treats them. I, I use one routine to parse. Anyway, uh, so this is if it's a static local, um, local variable. And this is if it has a default value. Um, your arg arguments to your function can have default values and uh, if it's a uh, if it's a if it's a function that you're passing in um, then this is a pointer to the function um, have you ever how about Q sort have you ever seen Q sort um, okay uh, this has a function that we're passing in, uh, we're passing in a function, and so um, this is a pointer to the, uh, the function. Why don't I? I'll just do a quick search, and we can find out what left two is used for. I think Lex. left two, right two, member add. Okay, uh, find to, remember find to, let's see. So there's two indexes for the binary tree. Um, I don't remember why we have two indexes. Maybe I can get rid of it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> um, could just be for duplicates. I don't think it's just for duplicates. That would be silly, wouldn't it? I don't know. Um, I forgot. Left two. Maybe I can. Left two, left when we add a variable 
find two. It could just be for uh, detecting duplicates. That sounds pretty weird, though, doesn't it? Oh, well.